All right, everyone. So Jalen Brunson spoke out on his contract extension. Obviously, he took a massive pay cut for the Knicks. Here is what he had to say. All right. So when Jalen Brunson says, I took as much money I could get at this time, he's obviously not telling the truth. He could have gotten the max deal, right? What he means by that is that he took the most money he could possibly take while allowing the Knicks to still kind of put together a contender. And I thought Jalen Brunson made a fantastic point. Because this is one that you almost never hear about, okay? He talked about, I want to make sure I could take care of my family and my extended family, right? So what he's saying is, look, I wanted to make sure that I was getting paid a good amount of money. But he also was recognizing that, hey, if I take a little bit of a pay cut, we could build another team. And I'm hoping that the entire sports world players go in this direction. And I'm not saying this because... We don't want them to get paid or that they don't deserve the money. They're, that's not the point. The point is that we have prime examples of today, right, of just a few years ago, of players who do stuff like this, and it actually ends up working in their favor monetarily in the long run. So let's. I want to look at Tom Brady, right? Tom Brady, who is known as, or at least considered, the greatest NFL player of all time, certainly the greatest quarterback of all time, he was never paid amongst the top now did he not make a lot of money no he made a lot of money but he was always willing to work with the patriots of have about having a flexible contract now maybe that meant pushing money to the end of his contract maybe that meant doing a bunch of other stuff right it wasn't like he was you know not getting paid at all but he was making good money but he was also giving constant team friendly deals in the nfl today patrick mahomes same deal Right, he does make a good amount of money. Don't get me wrong, but he constantly is worried about making sure his deal is team friendly. And both of these players, especially Tom Brady, now that he's retired, are going to be able to make a crazy, crazy amount of money when their careers are over. Tom Brady already is with this massive contract he got to do play-by-play, -play, or I mean, to do color commentary. Matt, I mean, he's going to be making more than he would have ever been able to make if he just, you know, took the maximum amount. And the reason for that is because of the success Tom Brady had and now the success that Patrick Mahomes has. And so if you're Jalen Brunson and you're thinking, what's the best way for me to take care of my family? What's the best way for me to maximize money-wise what I'm doing? Well, winning goes a long way. And the more money you yourself take, the less or the harder it gets for the team to put a championship contender around you and so by Jalen Brunson doing this he's making a basically a choice now to say you know look I'm gonna make sure I'm my family and me are taken care of right I don't want to basically bet the house on us succeeding here and then I don't have any money because I decided not to take anything but I'm also not going to take every penny I can because what I'm going to do is I'm going to bet that we could build something here and that we could win and I'm going to tell you this Jalen Brunson is going to go down as a legend for the Knicks. He's going to go down as a legend regardless of, regardless even if they win one ring. They don't even have to win one. He's going to go down as a legend. And the reason for that is because of actions like this. And so from this point forward, as long as he remains on the Knicks, Knicks fans are going to feel indebted to him. They're going to love him because they understand this guy was doing all he could to make sure that we get a championship here. And I think if some athletes decided to do that, if some athletes decided, you know what, I'm going to do, just do take a little bit of that discount to help out the team so that we're a better team, I think they understand that in the long run, you actually get it back. And sometimes you get it back tenfold, right? I mean, look at someone like Michael Jordan even. Now, Michael Jordan was getting paid good money for the time, but... Michael Jordan wasn't, I mean, you have players like Jason Tatum and others that are just making amounts of money that the guys like Larry Bird and Michael Jordan would have never in a million years expected to have been making just in your NBA contract. We're not talking endorsements and everything like that. Just on that NBA contract, Jordan is, was able to own an NBA team. Why? Because he won so much, right? Because if you can create that kind of legend, if you can create, it doesn't have to be on Jordan's level. You don't have to be a GOAT. If, if you're just somebody who is looked at highly, you will be able to cash in on that for the rest of your life as long as people view you as someone who is dedicated to the game. So thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time.